Hello friends. In this lecture, we will continue the pressure vessel analysis. So we have this pressure vessel of this cross-sectional area. So the outer diameter is 500 mm, thickness is 25 mm. Pressure that is applied, that is 5 megapascal. The material we are considering is the structural steel. And the pressure is applied onto this inner edge like this. Now the radius of outer diameter will be 250 mm. And this thickness, so this value is 25. So the radius of inner diameter will be 225. It will be less than, it will be lesser by 25, the value of thickness. So before solving this problem in ANSYS, let's understand how we are going to approach for this problem. On the left side, we have this pressure vessel where the pressure P is applied onto this inner edge. The pressure is applied because it is filled with any liquid or any gas that is applying the pressure from inside. So we can see this is a symmetric geometry. We can draw a cutting plane like this, a horizontal plane. So it is symmetric in both up and down. Similarly, it is also symmetric with respect, with respect to this vertical line. So whenever we have a symmetry, we can take the advantage of symmetry in ANSYS. And we can take only this cross-sectional. So we are taking only this cross-sectional area. And we are going to perform analysis only inside this. And the result will be same in all the other places because this is symmetric. So we take only this cross-sectional area here. Now to apply the boundary condition into this, we take this horizontal line and this vertical line. And we are applying a roller support onto this. So what is the meaning by this roller support here? See roller support means it can move this direction of the wheels. So it can move in horizontal direction but it is fixed in vertical direction. Similarly from here it can move in vertical direction but this is fixed in horizontal direction. And our main purpose is to find out the hoop stresses or circumferential stresses. Now the direct formula to calculate the value of hoop stress is PD by 2T. So P is the pressure, D is the outer diameter and T is the thickness value. So when we insert all these value we get this value 50 megapascal. So here in this problem we will also consider the effect of nonlinear geometry. Because whenever any gas or fluid is filled from inside, it may be possible that due to this high loading, the geometry of the pressure vessel can change. So we will consider the effect of nonlinear geometry. You can also consider the nonlinear material. But for this analysis, I am taking the structural steel. So now let's go to ANSYS and then solve this problem. So again, I will pick up static structural. So I am taking the default material as structural steel. Now we will have to create the geometry. So I will go to geometry. Now first of all, since this is a plane strain problem. So we will consider that analysis type is 2D from here. So click on the geometry and then select 2D from here. After that to create the geometry we need to go to this design modeler. So now we need to create this geometry. The outer diameter is 500 mm and thickness is 25 mm. So I will go to this sketching panel. First I will go to settings. Go to grid. I will turn on the grids. Click on this major grid spacing. Ok right now the units are in meters so I will go to units and select millimeters. And let's say the grid I will take 25. And then I will go to draw. Go to circle and click on XY plane. Now onto this origin I will draw a circle. 
and then second circle. Go to dimension and let's say I want to dimension them by radius. So this is radius of bigger circle and for the smaller circle. So the radius of this bigger circle will be 250 half of 500 and it will be 25 lesser than 250 so it will be 225 mm. Click on this zoom to fit or press F7. After that we need to trim all the extra parts so I will go to settings and then we can turn off all the grids so right now I don't want any grids here and then go to sketching here we will have to go to modify panel so click on this modify and I want to trim some extra parts so go to trim and let's say I want to trim them so just pick the arrow and click here and I want to trim all these extra part after that I will have to complete the circle so I will go to dimension once again so I will go to draw go to draw and I need line and then zoom in so let's say I zoom in here go to this pan feature and then zoom in here once again click on this pan to undo this from to undo from this I will go to settings and I will turn on all the goods because of this grid and because of this snapping we can easily pick up the point so I will go to draw and then line I wanted I want to draw a line from this point up to this point similarly I want to draw a line so let's zoom in here line click on this from this point up to this point now the sketch is completed I will go to concept surface from sketches then select this sketch sketch 1 and then click on apply click on generate turn off all the grids from here go to settings turn off all the grids so now we can see we have generated the surface so I will go to file and then close design modeler so now I can also save this part save as so I am saving this as pressure, pressure vessel 1. So we will continue this in the next lecture.